Hello everybody, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. Well, today in this lesson, we have a special lesson for you. It's heat, right? Lesson number 10, heat, hot, right? Like this shirt, it's very hot. Okay, in this lesson, you will discover where heat comes from and what heat can do. So, of course, when we look at this, this is heat, this looks like the sun, a lot of heat is coming off the sun, okay? When things get hot, they get really red and really shiny, right? Kind of like what I'm wearing. Okay, but anyway, let's move on. Heat, what is heat? When we talk about heat, what is heat? Heat is a kind of energy. We've been talking a bit about, in other lessons and in this book, about energy. Heat is a type of energy. There are many kinds of energy, right? We can talk about electricity. We can talk about uh, wind. We can talk about emotion, you know, our bodies. Those are all different types of energy. Heat is just one more type of energy. But this special energy, this type of energy, makes things hot, right? So things get hot from heat. And as we can see, a fire is a good example of heat, heat energy. If you put your hand close to the fire, not too close, but you will feel the heat. It's hot and you will feel the heat from the fire. Okay, when we talk about energy, right? Energy, I just said that there are many types of energy. Heat is only one type of energy, but energy is power, right? Energy is power. Power, remember, is something that makes change, right? So power that makes things work, in other words, electricity makes your computer work, electricity makes your cell phone work, or it causes change. This is important. Energy causes change. Without energy, with no energy, there's no change. So if we want change in our lives, we have to use some type of energy. Otherwise, things will never change. So if we want change, we need energy. Okay, so where does energy come from? We get, we use a lot of machines to get energy, right? We see an oil rig over here, we're getting oil, wind, and nuclear, and also solar power, right? We get energy from a lot of different places. And these are all pictures that show how we can get energy, and also how energy is used, different types of energy as well. But of course, we're talking about heat. And when we talk about heat, we can use the word warm. Of course, warm means to make something hot. If you warm something. Here, warm is used as a verb. Warm can be a verb or it can be an adjective. But here, we're using it as a verb because warm means to make to make, to do something. To make something hot means to warm it. So for example, if you want dinner, right? And uh, your mom says, okay, let me warm up something for you. You don't want to eat pizza. Maybe there's pizza in the refrigerator, but it's cold. You don't want cold pizza. So mom says, let me warm up the pizza for you. If your body is cold, you want to warm your body next to a fire. So warm means to make something mm, hot or hotter, right? Of course, these girls don't want to become hot, right? Maybe it's too hot. They just want to warm up, but it increases the temperature. So warm means to make something hot. Okay, what's one way we can get heat? We can get heat by rubbing things. Rub, again, is a verb, just like warm, because to do something. Rub means to move two things, in this case his hands, move two things together, but quickly, right? If you rub your hands together very quickly, right? You rub them together, go ahead and do that. Yeah, are you rubbing your hands? Do you feel warmth? Do you feel heat? Of course you do. You feel heat on the parts of your hands that are touching each other. By the way, a long, long time ago, this is how people made fire. They rubbed two pieces of wood together really fast, really fast, and it would cause so much heat that it would start to burn, and that's how they made fire. Okay, so to rub, rub means to move two things together quickly, and you can make heat that way. 
It's very interesting. Try it out. But don't rub too hard, right? Uh, just do it a little bit, okay? But well, you can feel it instantly. You can feel the heat starting to uh, be generated. Okay, another place that we get heat is a stove. Be careful of the stove, okay? Stove, of course, is a noun. It's an object, right? A stove is a piece of kitchen equipment. It's a piece of equipment. It's a tool that you use. What do you use it for? You use it to cook food using heat. You can see the top of the stove here. By the way, that's an interesting point. The stove is only this part here. This is the stove, stove top. The bottom part is an oven, oven. So we open the door, we put things in the oven, we cook things on the stove on the top. So yeah, this is usually one piece of equipment, but there's two parts. The top part is the stove, the bottom part is the oven. They're both equipment that cook food using heat. You can put something here, the heat on the top of the stove, don't touch this, it's too hot. You can put something up here and it will heat your food, or you can put something inside the oven and it will heat your food. So we have stove and we have oven, okay? This same piece of equipment. Stove is on top, oven is in the, in the middle. They both use heat in order to cook food because you don't want to eat cold chicken, right? You want hot chicken, right? You want uh, your food to be hot. You don't want cold soup. You want to put it on the stove to make it hot so that you have hot soup. Okay. Also, what else can we talk about here? We have a lamp. A lamp is a device, a device, piece of equipment, a tool that uses electricity to produce what? We want light. So a lamp, as this girl is using a lamp to do her homework, she's using a lamp. But you know, there's also heat coming off here. Not just light, but also heat is coming off the lamp. You have to be careful. Don't touch the lamp. It's hot too, right? So heat is also coming from the lamp. Now, heat sources. So what kinds of heat sources do we have? We've talked about some of these. Here we saw the picture at the beginning of the unit of the sun. Of course, the sun is the star that is in our solar system. That's where we get for thousands and thousands, millions of years, we have gotten heat from the sun. The sun warms the earth, okay? So the sun will provide heat to the earth. That's one very, very important heat source. Another heat source that's important is fire, right? We can make fire. Remember what I told you a long time ago, people rubbed two pieces of wood together to make fire. Now this person is using the stove top to, uh, to heat something up. Looks like they have a fire in their kitchen. I don't know if this is intentional or unintentional. Intentional means that they want to do it. Intentional. Maybe they want, this is a style of cooking, they want the food to burn on the top with fire. Some people do that. You see that in some movies. But it could be an accident, too. It could be, oh no, there's a fire. Turn it off and put it out, right? Put it under water. So a fire is also a heat source. Be careful with fire. Fire can be very dangerous. Rubbing hands, we did that experiment, right? We rubbed our hands and we created heat. So rubbing hands is a heat source. And finally, we saw the lamp. The lamp can also be a heat source. Sure, it produces light, but light is also giving off heat. And that's why don't touch that light bulb. This, by the way, is a light bulb. It is inside your lamp. And this thing will give off light, but it will also give off heat, a lot of heat. So be careful about touching it. It could be very hot. Okay. Okay, everybody, let's go over the definitions of the words we just learned, okay? Let's match the word to the definition. Here are our words. Energy, lamp, rub, heat, lamp, stove. These are our definitions. Let's match them. Number one, a device that uses electricity to produce light. And remember, it also produces heat. What is this device? You use it to study by. This, of course, is called a lamp, right? So a lamp is a device 
it uses electricity as its energy and it produces light, but it also produces heat. Light produces heat as well. Number two, to move two things together quickly, right? You do this to your hands and you generate heat. What are you doing with your hands? You are rubbing them. To rub, to rub something means to move them together very quickly. You're rubbing them together. Number three, to make something hot. If you want to make something hot, we're looking for a verb. What verb is that? You're increasing the temperature of something. You are going to warm it. To warm it. To make something hot, you warm it up. Okay. Let's move on. Number four. A piece of kitchen equipment that cooks food using heat. So we're looking for a piece of e kitchen equipment. It's equipment found in the kitchen. It's in your kitchen. You cook food with it and it uses heat. So what is that? Remember, there's it's one piece of equipment, but there's two parts to it. There's a top part and a bottom part, right? Of course, we're talking about the top part. We say it's a stove. Remember, the bottom part is called an oven, okay? Top part is a stove. Number five, power that makes things work or causes changes. So anything, you know, if we want things to change, if we don't want things to stay the same all the time, we need something. What do we need? We need some kind of power. We need energy, right? We need energy. We need some type of power that makes things work, like your computer, your cell phone, something like that, or causes changes, causes a change in temperature, right? From cold to hot. We need energy to make things work or to cause changes. Finally, number six, a kind of energy. So this is a kind of energy, a type of energy that makes things hot. And that, of course, is the title of our unit. That, of course, is heat. We're talking about heat in this unit. It is a type of energy, a kind of energy. Remember, there's lots of different kinds of energy, right? Uh, when we talked about the lamp, that uses electricity. That's a different type of energy. But we're talking about this type of energy, heat, it makes things hot. Okay? So, let's move on to our chart here. Here we have uh, uh, the chart about how heat changes things. So this chart shows us how heat changes things, some different ways. And we can see these different uh, methods or different uses for heat. Over here we have ice. These are ice cubes, right? Ice cubes. Now heat makes ice melt. Ice cube, remember from a previous lesson, is a solid. When we want to change something from a solid to a liquid and then to a gas, what do we do? We increase the temperature. So of course, heat makes solid water turn into a liquid. It makes ice melt. Let's take a look at the video of the two ice cubes. Now, of course, this is very fast. <laughs> you know, they sped up the, the time, but look at that. Whoop. <laughs> Those two solid pieces of water just kind of changed into liquid, and they just went on down and they changed into liquid just like that. We saw a good computer model right there. Okay. So, the next thing we use uh, heat can do, heat cooks food. Are you hungry? We've got some hamburger patties here. We've got some hamburgers. Looks like somebody is cooking hamburgers. We don't want to eat the raw meat, Blech, right? Raw meat. Raw meat is the cold meat. It hasn't been cooked. That's this meat up here. This is cooked meat. That's what we want to eat. We want to use heat to cook our food. So let's take a look at a video here. Here's a similar thing. It's a barbecue. And they're using the heat source, the coals on the bottom. That's where the heat is from. And they look at the difference in the, in the meat as they flip it over. Before it's cooked, it's pink. It's cooler. It's probably not very delicious. But as you put it on the heat, it turns brown and it tastes more delicious, right? So you flip it over and you cook both sides using heat. Finally, what's going on in here? This is in a factory where they're making some type of metal products. Heat makes metal melt. So 
Over here, we saw how ice. This is solid water, right? Solid water, ice doesn't need a lot of heat to melt. But think about metal. Metal is a solid. Metal doesn't normally melt. You very rarely, if ever, see liquid metal. But of course, anything, any matter, any substance, you add enough heat, it will change from solid to liquid to gas, right? So if you have a, a metal and you heat it up, it will melt. It will melt. And but you need a lot of heat. Let's take a look at a video of that. Here we have. The liquid metal. This is metal inside here, but it's so so hot that it's. Look at the color. It's very very bright. It it almost has no color. It's just very bright, very bright uh, a liquid metal. And look at all the heat coming off there. They're pouring the metal into these molds, into these molds to make the metal make it into a certain shape. So if you want to make a product, you know any type of tool like a hammer, a wrench. Or some other type of uh, uh, equipment made from metal, you have to heat it up so it's liquid, and then pour it into a mold to make it into the shape that you want it to be in. So that's very interesting. Okay, so choose the thing or things which can be melted by heat, but be careful. Remember, not all things melt, right? Not all things melt. Some things don't melt. If there's too much uh, heat, they'll burn instead. Let's take a look. A. Can we、uh, melt ice with heat? Yeah, we just saw a video of that. That's true. We can melt ice with heat. If you put enough heat, you will melt the ice. What about B? What is this? This is a pail, right? A pail. You could also call it a bucket. A bucket and a pail are the same thing. What's it made of? It's made of metal. Can we? Can we melt metal with heat? Yeah, we just saw the video. We just saw that video where we saw that you can melt metal with heat. If you want to make a pail or a bucket out of metal, you have to heat up that metal, whether it's aluminum, a tin, steel, whatever. You have to heat that metal so high that it becomes a liquid, and then you can pour it into this shape. You can use it to make this shape. Okay. Finally, over here we have paper. This is paper. It's folded into an elephant. If we add enough heat to this paper, will it melt? No, it won't melt. It'll burn. Okay. So that's interesting. Not all things can be melted. For example, paper and wood. They don't melt. They burn. Okay. So that's interesting. Okay. Heat is energy that makes things cold. Heat is energy that makes things cold. Does that sound right? If you put heat to something, it makes it cold. No, that doesn't make sense. Heat is energy that makes things hot, right? Not cold, so that's false. Okay. Number two, when you rub your hands, you move your hands together, right? You're moving your hands together. That's true. That sounds correct. So when you rub your hands, you're moving your hands together. That is true. Number three, a stove. Type of equipment. It's a device that produces electricity. So when we want electricity, we make electricity with our stove, right? No, wrong. We don't make electricity with a stove. It's a device that produces not electricity but heat, right? Actually, we can say a stove is a device that uses electricity. Elec. Tri, oops, electricity. Oh, my pen doesn't work.、Uh, uses electricity. Sorry about that. That's an R and then an I. Uses electricity to produce heat. So we could say that a stove is a device that uses electricity to produce heat. That would be true. So we have to change the sentence a lot. It's false, right? Okay, so we have our three sentences here. Okay, so let's take a short break here, and we're going to move into the reading section next. Okay, welcome back. We're going over a reading passage. The topic is heat. So, what is heat basically? This passage will describe what heat is. It will also tell us some other features of heat and what we use heat for. First of all, we have heat is a kind of energy. So, heat is a type or kind. Of energy, type, whoops, type 
or a kind of energy. Heat is a type of energy. Heat is a kind of energy. Heat, light, sound, and electricity are forms of energy. So these are all different types of energy. We talked about that, right? Heat is just one type of energy. There's so many different kinds of energy. We have light, we have sound, we have electricity, we have heat. Many different types of energy. Energy, what is energy? Well, we know what types of energy is, but what is energy? Energy is something that makes things work or causes changes. Remember, we saw that energy is power too, right? It's some type of power that makes things work or causes change. So if we want to make things work, like our, elect our television or our computer or our MP3 player, uh, whatever, we need electricity. We need energy if we want to cause a change. We have a uh, cold food or a raw uh, hamburger patty. We want to change that into a cooked hamburger patty. Then we need to use energy. We need to use heat. So energy is something that makes things work or causes changes. It's power. Power to make our lives better. We need energy. So heat comes from many things. There's many ways we can get heat. Of course, the sun warms the earth's land, water, and air. So the sun is, you know, the oldest heat source on earth, right? The sun has always been there. And the sun has always been providing heat to the earth. So the sun is the oldest heat source for the earth. But there are other ways we can get heat too. Okay, we can also get heat from burning things, okay? Not just from the sun, but also from burning things. What do we burn? We burn wood or we burn gas, right? Not all things melt if you increase the heat. Sometimes if you increase the heat too much, it will start to burn, not melt. And burn, if it burns, it's creating fire. There's fire, and of course, fire makes heat, which is energy to warm things. So we get heat from burning things like wood or gas. Also, we can see lamps. Lamps, of course, produce light. You probably have a lamp on your desk at home. You use the lamp to, to read your book, but on a winter's day or when it's cold and you get close to the lamp, you'll notice that your lamp also makes heat. Don't do this, but if you touch that light bulb in your lamp, it's hot, so don't touch it. But it's producing heat, not just light, but also heat. Another way to get heat is to rub your hands together, like this boy down here is doing. He's rubbing his hands together, and we do this on a cold day when our hands are cold. We rub our hands together. It warms our hands, okay? So that's another way that we can get heat. Heat, of course, is very important energy for us. Our bodies need to stay warm. If our bodies get too cold, that could be very dangerous. So always make sure you're wearing enough clothes on a winter's day or that you stay inside or near a heat source, right? Heat is very important energy for us. We use heat also in many different ways. Heat makes ice melt. So if we want ice to melt into water, we can apply heat. Heat warms our body and our homes in the winter. Like I said, we want to make sure our bodies stay warm. If our bodies get too cold, we could die. It's dangerous. So heat helps warm our bodies and it warms our homes in the winter time. A very important use of heat too is that we use heat to cook, right? Especially meat. We don't like to eat raw meat, Ugh, right? We want to cook that meat. It's also healthier too. If you don't eat raw chicken, that could be dangerous. You want to cook the chicken well before you eat it, okay? So we use heat to cook. And we also uh, cook, of course, lots of different soups. soups. Soups are better when they're hot instead of cold. So we use heat in many different ways to cook our food. We can cook food. Where do we cook food? We cook food on a stove. We cook food on a stove. We also cook food in an oven. Now I talked about these two things before. Let's just talk a little bit about types. 
What do we cook on a stove? Well, we cook soup. We can cook. Uh, uh, we can fry things like rice and vegetables. We can cook things on the stove. We can also put things in the oven. Something that we usually use ovens for is to cook bread or to make a cake or to make cookies. We use to. We need to use an oven. We can't make cookies on the stove top, right? <laughs> They'll get burned too fast. An oven puts heat all over something, so we use an oven to cook things like bread, uh, cake, cookies, also some types of meat. You can roast a chicken or a turkey in your oven, okay? But you can also、uh, cook meat on your stove. But usually, oven is used for baking things. Okay, let's take a look at a video. Okay, what are these two boys doing? They're using heat to cook food. But I don't know if this is really food. What are these boys doing? What do they have there? They have marshmallows. We call these marshmallows. Marshmallow. Now, of course, you know what a marshmallow is. You've probably seen that before. They sometimes come in different colors. The traditional ones. When I was a kid, I remember they're big and they're white, and you can stick them on sticks like these boys are doing. You see that? And they put them over the fire. Now I think these boys. I, I want to give them a little advice. He's putting it too close to fire. See, it's burning now. His marshmallow is on fire. That's probably not a very good way to cook your marshmallow. I remember when I was a kid, we would go out in the mountains in the forest, make a fire at night. We would eat, and then for dessert, we would put marshmallows on a stick, put them in the fire like this, and then cook them. But you don't want to get them on fire, right? You don't want them to turn black. The trick is to turn them slowly, close to the fire, so they turn brown all the way around. And if you do that, then they taste good. But if they turn black, blah, it's like eating ash. It doesn't taste very good. Okay, so they're、uh, making marshmallows over a fire. They're cooking marshmallows over a fire. Okay, we have our reading skill here. We have the main idea and details. Our main idea is that heat is a kind of what? Heat is a kind of what? What would we use here? Of course, we can see heat is a kind of energy. That's what we're looking at. Heat is a kind of energy. There are many kinds of energy. Heat is one kind of energy. That's our main idea. That's our main idea that that involves、uh, the whole. It, it covers the whole topic of what we're talking about. Heat is our subject. What is heat? Heat is a type of energy. What kind of details can we use to support that idea? We can see that there are different types of heat sources. So let's go over these. Our words here are the sun, rubbing, lamps, burning, and we already used energy. So over here we need to fill in the blank. Something warms the earth's land, water, and air. So, what warms the earth's land, water, and air? What of the what thing down here does that? You should choose, of course, the sun. We talked about that. The sun has been warming the earth for millions and millions of years, right? So, the sun warms the earth's land, water, and air. We get most of our heat from the sun. We also get heat from beep things like wood or gas. So, what are, what does wood do? What does gas do? When we put a lot of heat to wood, when we put a lot of heat to gas, what happens? Do they melt? No, they burn. So we get heat from burning things like wood or gas. When we burn wood, we get heat. When we burn gas, we get heat. So we get heat from burning some things. Over here. Something produces light and also makes heat. What is it? Of course, lamps. Notice the S, so we don't use S here or here. Lamps produce light and also make heat. If we put a lamp like that, then we would need S. A lamp produces light and also makes heat. But we have S, so we're okay. Lamps produce light and also make heat. That's true. So lamps, lamps produce. Light, but be careful. They also produce heat. Finally, if you do something to your hands, it warms your hands. If you do something to your hands together, right? What are we doing here? We are rubbing. So, rubbing your hands together warms your hands, and we can see that very easily. It's a very easy experiment, isn't it? So, rubbing your hands together warms your hands. You are creating energy. You are creating heat. 
Okay, let's go over our reading comprehension questions. Number one, what do we use to make light? So what? We're looking for an object, some object, some device that we use to do what? We want to make light. We want to make light. What do we use to make light? Do we use ice to make light? That's kind of silly, isn't it? Uh, we don't use ice to make light. We use ice to make things cool. B, do we use lamps to make light? Sure, you bet. We, may, we use lamps to make light. We don't use sounds to make light. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so our answer is B. Number two, what can heat do? What can heat do to metal and ice? So when we talk about increasing the heat of some solid, now most things, when you increase the heat, it will melt from a solid to a liquid. Some things, as we saw, is not always true, like wood and paper, they burn and gas. But metal and ice, if you have a solid metal and you have solid water, ice is solid water, if you increase the heat, what happens? What can heat do to them? It can make them melt, right? That's true. We can use heat to melt metal or ice. B, to make them burn. Does metal and ice burn? Well, of course, water doesn't burn. That's crazy. Metal doesn't burn either, but metal will melt. To make them cook? <laughs> we can't make metal or ice cook, right? Well, only people can cook things, right? Or we can cook food, but we, we, we can't use heat to make metal and ice cook, right? And we don't eat metal or ice. That's silly, too. So our correct answer is A. Heat can melt metal or ice, and ice. Okay, let's move on to number three. How do we usually warm our homes? So think about that. It's cold, it's winter, brr, it's cold inside your home. How do we usually warm our homes? What can we do to make our homes warmer? Can we melt ice on the stove? Will that make our house warmer? Well, maybe, but that's kind of silly. Why are we melting ice? That's kind of silly to do. That's not the right answer. By burning things like wood or gas. Sure, we saw the picture before of the two girls in front of the fireplace. They were burning wood. So they were burning wood, and of course we can burn gas, and that makes our home warmer. By rubbing our hands together quickly, that will make our home warm. That will make only our hands warm, okay? So it won't make our home warm. It'll only make our hands warm. So B is the correct answer there. Number four, heat comes from many things. Of course, there are many sources of heat, such as A, sound, light, and electricity. Electricity, yes, heat comes from electricity. Heat comes from light, true. But does heat come from sound? No, that's not right. Heat does not come from sound. Not sound. This is true, this is true, but this is not true. B, burning things and the sun. Heat comes from many things, such as burning things and the sun. That's true. Heat does come from burning things, true, and it also comes from the sun. So our correct answer is B. Let's take a look at C. Heat comes from many things, such as ice. Heat comes from ice? No. Ice, if you put ice on something, it makes it cooler. It's the opposite effect, right? So ice doesn't make heat. Heat doesn't come from ice. That's not correct. Heat does come from lamps, true, and the sun, true. So yes, yes, but no. Our only true answer is B because both or all the things listed under B are heat sources, and that's true. Okay. Finally, let's wrap up with our heat sources. Very similar to question number four in the reading comprehension. Where does heat come from? What do we name these things? Here we have a huge ball of gas. Of course, this thing is a huge ball of gas in the sky. It's burning, right? So what do we call that? Of course, we call that the sun, right? And we see that every day when we wake up. Even if it's overcast or cloudy, we can still see light from the sun coming down. The sun is a very old source of heat, a very old source of heat. It's always been with us. Our second source, a second heat source here, we can see flames coming up. Something is burning. So when something is burning, there is a fire. 
So fire creates heat, and that's another heat source. Down here, this happy boy is doing what with his hands? That's another heat source. He's causing friction. He's rubbing his hands together. That is causing heat, okay? So that's a heat source. Finally, over here, I taught you guys light bulb. Light produces what? It produces light. Light also produces heat. So lights will also produce heat. You'll notice that with your reading lamp on your desk, as you turn it on, you get light, but from the light also you get heat. Okay, so these are many different heat sources. Our unit topic, of course, was heat. We've talked about heat sources. We've talked about other types of energy. And we've talked about certain things, you know, uh, things, some things that melt and some things that we burn, of course, to get heat sources or how heat affects things. Okay, well, this is a very interesting lesson talking about heat. My, my shirt seems very hot right now. I think I'm going uh, to wrap it up here. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.